Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of Trans Talk. Today we're getting into the meat and potatoes on this transmission. We've got some pretty expensive parts sitting out here, and this is where the brains are on this transmission. I've got two almost identical parts, and let's look at the one here on the left. This is PA68300. This is called the lead frame. The lead frame is the electrical interface between the controller and the valve body itself. This is, has various sensors in it, various connections. As you can see here in the front, this is where our main bulkhead connector goes. This is where all the information goes in and out on this transmission. And I'm going to flip this over and here are all the solenoid connectings right here. So this actually bolts onto the valve body, but it also has three other very important pieces on it. And this is what we're going to discuss. What we found and what Ford has found out is these pieces are very susceptible to age, wear and tear, believe it or not. Now you have two sensors on this lead frame. Here, the first sensor is your input shaft sensor, and back here is your speed or output shaft speed sensor. These two items have been known to fail, especially the output shaft speed sensor. Another sensor in this product is here. As you can see, this is a sliding device, and that device actually is connected to the shifter, so that when you're moving your shifter, this is sliding and telling the computer what gear you are in. This has also been known to fail. So you have three items on here that are very susceptible to age and uh, electrical problems. Now, we strongly suggest that you update these to the latest. And um, anytime you are purchasing a transmission, probably out of the junkyard or a recycler, you don't know the history on that transmission. You don't want to plug your $1,000 controller in and have it short-circuited by a bad lead frame. So we strongly suggest that you replace the lead frame and get started with a good electrical connection. We've also found that on those solenoid connections is that metal tends to co collect on these terminals here and tends to foul or give improper signals back to the controller. So for the money that's invested in this, it's well worth it. Now, over here we have the lead frame actually bolted to a 6R80 valve body. And this valve body is special in that it has been updated to the latest specs from Ford. It has all new solenoids, a new lead frame, and actually the casting on this valve body and the circuitry and some of the apply rates have been changed in this valve body. And we have found that dime for dime, money for money, this is a well this is a, a good investment. You buy a transmission out of the yard, especially if it's had water in it, you're going to have water in your old valve body. And you're going to hook up a controller or hope it works, and you don't know. And then you may be fooling with a controller and trying different programs and this and that, when it's right here. It's this part that was laying in the field or laying in the mud for I don't know how long. It's well worth the investment to replace this. You get the updated solenoids, you get updated valves inside, and it is a brand new casting, it is not remanufactured, and you're going to get a new lead frame to go with it. So those two items are highly, highly recommended. Now the valve body with the lead frame is PA68301. Now this, just the lead frame, PA68300. This you need to do minimally, this we highly recommend. We have seen the difference in putting this valve body in multiple transmissions here in our own shop.